Hello and welcome to Ham Radio Comms. So it's uh, Friday night around 11.30 or so and the uh, space station is passing overhead. It was uh, the packet radio that's on the space station was down for about 16 days and I noticed about five hours ago it came back online and it's passing overhead right now and I heard one packet coming through but that's it. Um, I just have a vertical antenna for repeaters and stuff like that and for local um, VHF and UHF a vertical antenna, but I did just put it up much higher. It's around 30 feet in the air now on a, on a tall mast and so far just one um, Packet so far, so I haven't received back any packets that I sent because I'm trying to send a, a message through the space station and uh, let me beacon again So if you get a packet back, that confirms that you, the Digipeter received your packet that you sent out, uh, APRS packet, and then it sends it back out again. And if you're lucky, it'll come back to your radio and you'll get a, a display and it'll be just like any other APS. For instance, if you go to the list here, and this is regular terrestrial APRS, and these are, these are some of the stations that came in this morning, and there's a whole, a whole bunch of them here. Um, but nothing from the space station this time. I might need a Yagi. I heard the antenna is really smaller on the um, on the space station. The packet radio is the Ericsson handheld with not a lot of power. So I might not. But if I'm lucky, it'll go through the internet on a digit on the uh, eye gate. So if the space station hits an eye gate, then my message will show up um, that it received uh, one of my packets. It's on the way, it's uh, going to the horizon right now. I think it's just about leaving. Um, all right, let's go see if I was successful at least of hitting the space station. If I got lucky, it's gonna hit a, um, an eye gate. All right, so here we go. I don't feel like um, editing the video, so I'm just gonna carry this into the other room where I have my computer set up. So I'm gonna black it out for a second so you don't get dizzy. Here we go. All right, let's head over to the computer. Let me refresh the screen. All right, let's see what we've got here. All right, I had good luck this time. There's my call, N1 UHF, all right. So at least I was able to send my packet to the space station. And it just happened. Uh, so here we have uh, days. So as you can see down here, Let's see, see here, 16, that's 16 days, 8 hours was the last time it was heard until 6 hours ago and it came back online. I don't know why it was off. Last month it was off because they were doing something with the, the Russian Soyuz capsule. Um, but not sure why it was down. I couldn't find out why it was down, but it's up and running and I actually hit it for the first time with my new um, THD710G radio. And it looked like 5 minutes ago, I um, one of my beacons uh, hit it. And then you can click on, and here's some of the other call signs, K2, that might have been in New York. As you, as you can see, it was flying over the country. Here's the track that it just went, and this is at uh, amsat.org. And here's the path that it took. You can see here, this last time that it went around the Earth, um, I found out about it uh, 10 minutes too late. It was already way out here. So I waited for about an hour and 15 minutes for it to, for it to come back around again. And if you watch the movie Gravity with the space station, you'll see that the debris that was going around the Earth was about 90 minutes later. It was coming back overhead to, to wreak havoc on them. This is about the same time frame um, of the space station going around the Earth. So anyway, it took this path right over Texas and Kentucky, uh, right over Maine where I am. And right now it's uh, heading out over the ocean. And you can get that on amsat.org, current position. And then here is the path prediction that they have on the site. You put in your um, longitude and latitude, and it'll tell you when it's passing overhead. So right here at 3.30 UTC, that's around 11.30 here. That's why I got ready for it to come over. And then I was watching it come over, and then I got my radio ready. So I'm really happy. Wow, it actually uh, actually worked with just a vertical, not a Yagi. Um, I might need a Yagi to, um, if I want to receive the packets back here. And then if you click on your um, 
on your call sign. It'll go to the map and then it'll go, there's my, uh, my house icon and I live by the Kennebec River. So you can see right where uh, my station is. It picked up where the station was. And if I look at the raw packets, which I'm not going to find right now, it'll show the message and so forth. All right, so that's it for today. So my next project is going to be to, uh, it'll be a little bit harder to send a message to another station and, and see if that station can send a message back to me in that 10 minute or so time frame that the space station is passing overhead. So that'll be a little bit harder and um, that's the next thing I'll try to do, but uh, at least I was successful. So my APRS packet actually went to the space station and back to earth again. So very exciting for me. I like doing space communications. So um, thanks very much for watching Ham Radio Comms and uh, we'll catch you next time. Please like and subscribe. And when I uh, do more videos like this, uh, you'll be notified if you hit that little bell uh, icon that's there. Okay, 7-3, take care and have fun with Ham Radio.